One, two, three, four. much more left to the asteroid. Again, I have no idea why it keeps doing that. Oh, jeez. This is a very good one. It's only tri tritium. With high mineral content. already. I'm nearly out of lipids. And then I can't get any of this anymore. And I will not be able to find this in time. Like, they bleed down quite quickly. As you can see, the bits from the previous one are dissipating already. Like, if we go uh, here, see only 6% haul. distance to go. Uh, component found in ships use, uh, frequently used by haulage vessels. Destroyed wreckage vessels. Asteroids hit me. That's our only. Uh, destroyed hulge vessels can be salvaged after the aftermath of combat and shipping lanes, known to be salvaged from signal sources and high security systems. Uh, chemical distillery allows the isolation of a chemical from another chemical.
Sadly, I don't have the... any... otters. I can make... I can only make a life support. Um... I am shy for nickel. Oh, this is prospect. Okay, beautiful. Uh, I've gotten what I can. I've made a lot of money. I've made a lot of money. Uh, all right. Boop. That was shockingly profitable. Like, seriously. Oh, uh, that was glitchy. Thank you, game. I nearly collided with it. That would have been awkward. I wish there was a check missions for resources I have in my inventory button.
just like sometimes the um, like they want you to get mo a particular type of money, a particular type of resource. I might have that resource on me, um, but you know I don't want to have to search through five different things for it. Like, see, they want gallium there. I didn't ha don't have gallium, but you know I could have. Oh, now we finally get the... Damn. Okay, there's a two... Rewards depend on contribution to the goal and may be affected by reward tier. So the more resources that are donated, the higher the tier. Overall, the higher the overall tier. Well, there's two two trackers here: overall and then individual. For the individual, well, the overall will augment the pri the prizes, and the individual thing will determine which category is set. All right. Because, I'm uh, going to be honest with you, initially, I thought there was one reward. Like, you just got the missile launchers, that was it. There was no money, there was no nothing else. It was just... I didn't know what the tier thing was about, and... I thought you just got the missiles, and that was it. I thought it was a lackluster, a minor thing. But no, it's fair cash here. So... The higher, the higher the tier, the better the rewards. And the higher ranking you have, the better the rewards you get. Okay, I actually have some of the resources that they want. Um, top hundred percent. Um, so you don't need anything, and you you will get something. Um, I think that would actually be worth the trip. Alright, um, that's one of the things they wanted, and this was the other thing. And we could sell it here for tremendous money. 
really good cash. But I think it's better off being... Um, traded in for at the other thing. The only issue is storing it. Like, in EVE Online, you have a cargo space on a station. You can store things there. And that's pretty handy. Because, uh, okay, I want to sell this, but I don't want to sell it right now. I store it here. Here, it's no, you only have your ship. There's nothing else. Um, as far as I can tell. Let me look it up. To be sure. Yeah, it seems like there isn't any way to do it, to store it anywhere. Even if you get another ship, the cargo comes with you. It's quite frustrating, really. Like, say if I bought another ship here to store stuff in. Nah, the cargo stays with you. I also do hate when people pull the, Oh, it's not our game, we're merely, you know, buying entertainment, you know. Fuck off with that bullshit. If you're gonna try to run defense for something, Actually, have a I have a point. Consulted, just breathing air around that kind of argument. Jesus. Someone here is saying about, um, ha ha like, uh, fr how much Frontier Developments hates the idea of players having cargo sp storage. Uh, when, when they initially, uh, at least this is according to them, it's a random Steam comment, who knows how accurate it is. Apparently, the reason, their logic for it is that they're nervous, they're worried that people will, uh, if Cargo Swiss was after the game that um, players making vast fortunes playing the market from safe space stock and other exploits. I don't know how that's an exploit, but whatever. Uh, because it's a spaceship flying game, not a stock market game. So if, it's, if you want to make money, you need to fly your spaceship. Even though if, oh, I have too much cargo, I can't fly my, a different spaceship now. It stops you. Whatever. Uh, that's my point, not theirs. Um, apparently when engineers were initially added, you need two things for them. The, the micro-materials, you know, the carbon, sulfur, that, and cargo t space taking materials. Um, like the water and oxygen. And people were hoarding up on th th all these resources 
flying around in cutters full to the brim with them and not even able to swap ships because they couldn't dump any of, the, any of these precious cargo and apparently some of it was difficult to obtain. So they especially couldn't dump that. And when people cried out for cargo storage so they could keep the stuff, they merely got rid of the requirements to have... Um, you, you know the stuff that takes up uh, cargo space? They got rid of the requirements for that for engineers, rather than give people cargo storage. So... If that's how stubborn they are against the idea of people having cargo storage, they will never add it. I don't see them ever doing it, which is quite frustrating. Because I would like to be able to go store up a bit of this material and then do a big run on it. As dangerous as that sounds. But no. I, I have the either the option of selling it right now or running over there with the three bits I have. Or trying to mine with my inventory half full, three quarters full, full. You know? It's pretty stupid. Apparently they didn't even... Uh, module storage was... Uh, apparently took ages. They really don't want you to store things. And uh, people are trying to defend it as it's not an empire building game. How is me having a locker that I can put a crystal into an empire building game? Today I learned when I had a, you know, rough locker that I used to slice my books and my hands open on in school, I was actually bleeding my divine claret as emperor. Again, if you're defending, so running defense for something, have a better argument. Someone else is, like, uh, people are saying that it's weird that we can't find out, like, if we haven't been, uh, you, you can't know what a station buys or sells without having been there. Even, you know, there's, you know, there is interconnectivity in the world, but as players we aren't able to access it. Like, you have to travel light years to go to a station, rather than being able to use what the people in the universe use to, uh, you know, communicate. I'm probably phrasing this. Basically, there's no menu we can use, apparently, to access, to find out details about other stations. Um, let me start again. I feel like I'm flubbing what I'm saying. Uh, basically, like, if you want to know prices at a station, you've had to have been there before, apparently. Yeah, see, I haven't been here. Apparently, I've been here. I don't know, but, uh, yeah, some of these I swear I haven't been at. Maybe I've been near, and that was good enough. Whatever. Um, but, yeah, you have to have been there to know what they want for it, or being near them to know what they want for it. Um, which is weird. Like, there is, like, this galactic net uh, internet or whatnot going on, and yet we can't access it. Again, some people are trying to run defense for it. Um, again, stupidly.
people are also trying to defend it by saying that it's too intensive. Like, it's like, oh, so much work to have storage in a game. Again, sounds like a very weak argument given how, say, you look at EVE Online. You can have unlimited, or I think best part of, I can't remember anymore. As far as I remember, unlimited storage in any station. There's no limit on it. Why is it so in... Why is it... Uh, like, there's tons of storage... You have plenty of storage in WoW. Limited, but you can get fair storage in WoW banks than void storage. There's a fair bit of storage in FF14, though it is kind of clunky. Why is it so impossible for Elite Dangerous, then? Why does it suffer so much? Well, why is it so impossible here? Again, it's just shit arguments trying to justify bizarre game design. Sorry, that's now actually kind of pissing me off. I know, it's just terrible arguments for it, just annoy me. Hmm. This is just like, if you want to defend something, you should do it justice, you know? You shouldn't be... You know how like, you see in tanks, you know, someone's getting praised, and a character then feels dirty for getting praised off that one person, because they dislike themselves. It's kind of like the same thing, you know? You... Oh great, it's set in an anarchy place. Perfect. Um, uh, basically, it's a free-for-all. Um, Yeah, it's basically, the arguments are so shit, you know. Well, actually, really what I was going with it was more, I'm insulted just hearing them. But, uh, yeah, anyway. God route. 75 lighters? Right for Yuri Grom's territory. Days left on it? Jesus. Alright, let's give it a try. Hmm? Get someone else to stop. Uh, let's change my equipment. If I'm heading out there, I, I should be geared to, you know, somewhat for battle.
Ah, oh, my stuff's at the other station. Freezing or something. Good. It's um should have transferred this one. Mm. Alright, I'll stop for a moment while I wait for these bits to teleport over. I don't like going over with so little, but hopefully that will also mean I'll avoid being ganked by an NPC or by anyone. I'll be below their notice. Hey folks, and I'm back. 20, 21, 22, 23. Been gone for longer than necessary, but... Uh, oh well. Hmm. Shouldn't have gotten rid of my old one. Uh, turns out there is now cargo storage, but it's a little... Well, it's very difficult to get. You have to get a fleet carrier, uh, and your own fleet carrier. You have a weekly upkeep to pay, and it, it's charged whether or not you play or you're playing or not. So, um, um, it's very steep. At least the ship can't be destroyed or damaged while you're not playing, but which would add to it. But still, you have to pay. I think a few million. Um, up to 25 million a week um, f to maintain it. Depends on the amount of things you have active at once. Um, oh, I'm tired. So yeah, uh, no cargo space beyond that. And, it, like, it is very steep. You would have to be serious about this game to you have it. And even then, you would have to stay serious. If you fail, fall behind on your payments, it's scrapped.
They don't have um, Uh, they don't have collector dudes here, sadly. And they don't have fuel tanks. Well, let's make a long jump. Mm, ship's a bit nicked, but uh, it shouldn't be an issue. Yeah, that's fun. We're gonna have to drop off at the place to re refuel. Though I suppose I could give the fuel tank a look. Let's find out how the hell you use a fuel scoop. It activates automatically, but uh, you have to be in... You have to be near to a star. Uh, also, it depends. If the star is usable. use this. 